try investing in one hour per night in order to be the best burger in town. <laughs> this is about perceived value. What you want to be is the best burger in town. If you're the best, you can demand higher prices. So there's a restaurant in Boulder, Black Belly, Black Belly restaurant. They've got the best burger in town. In the entire town of Boulder, there's only one burger that is the best. That's incredible. And it's a Black Belly restaurant. You can Google them, Black Belly restaurant. It's a $20 burger. It's a $20 burger. That's insane. $20 for a burger, a sandwich, right? I buy it every time. It's the best. It's the best. Why would I go somewhere else? The, my perceived value in that burger is overwhelming to me to the point where I'll pay top dollar to buy that burger and eat it. Why? Because it's the best one. That's where you want to be. It's the same ingredients. Uh, maybe they're different. They, they are. The, the meat is different or something, right? And they do the something with the bun or something, whatever. Whatever they're in the aioli or whatever. I don't know what it is. It's the great. It's the best burger. I really don't know why it's the best, but you know, the same thing for you. I don't know why you're the best home inspector, but you do this other thing. You got the drone and you, you know, the checklist on the text and then you email me the link and fetch report and the online agreement. It's like, that's just special things, you know? And then you can demand higher prices. This is where you want to be. I don't want to harp on this dumb idea about being a cheeseburger, but it, it's, it's this basic concept in business and marketing. And in my experience, there's only one burger in town. In my town, there's only one burger to eat. And it's the most expensive burger. And it's the best. If I was running your business, if I was managing your business, this is where we would be heading. We want to be the absolute best in our market so that people see overwhelmed. They're just overwhelmed by value. And they got to hire us. Because we don't want to be like everyone else. There's 200 other home inspectors that you have to compete with. And we're all performing home inspection to a standards of practice. We're all kind of the same. What makes us different? It ain't the license. Could be the certification, but it's really about the marketing. It's a unique value proposition. You got to look up the word commodity, right? You don't want to be a commodity. What is a commodity? Well, when everything else is the same, the only thing that's different between you and your competition is price and the lowest price wins. And that's no good for anyone. A watch is a commodity. A barrel of oil is a commodity. Oil is oil, no matter where it, it comes from, right? The only, the only difference is the price of the barrel. Who's selling it at $80 a barrel instead of 81? Watch is the same thing. They all do the same thing. They all tell the time. But how is it that one watch charges $10 and the other watch charges $1,000. I want to be the $1,000 watch. I won't have to work as much. I won't have to do 100 inspections a week. I can do two. How do you get to be the gold watch, the Rolex gold watch? How do you get to be so overwhelmingly special in an industry where everyone is basically doing the same thing? We're all performing a home inspection according to a standards of practice. We're all writing reports. We're all looking at the same systems. We're all kind of saying the same stuff. We're all taking pictures. We're all using report writing software. We're all doing this. When everything else is the same, what is this thing? What is the distinguishing characteristic? What makes it you different from all the rest? Man, if it's price, you're messed up because the lowest price wins. People are just going to price shop and they're going to choose the lowest inspector. So, how do you get to be different from all the rest? How do you get to be the thousand dollar gold Rolex in an industry of commodity? Overwhelming value, unique value. There are consumers out there who buy that watch because they perceive overwhelming value. There are consumers out there that rent the most expensive rental car at Hertz rental car because there's overwhelming value. There's people who are out there who, who buy uh, the most expensive burger because of the perceived overwhelming value of eating that burger. You wanna be the best burger in town. You don't wanna be a commodity. 
Here's another mental exercise. Imagine standing in a row with your direct competitors. You can find them on inspectorseek.com. Just list them all out, Just research them. Do the first 10 people that pop up at inspectorseek.com in your zip code. Those are your direct competitors, write them down. And now imagine standing in a row with your direct competitors. And everyone is asked, you're all in a row. Everyone is asked to take a step forward if you offer any of the following unique value propositions or stuff that potential clients might want to pay top dollar for. The goal is to be standing alone and way ahead of everyone. The goal is to be the obvious choice where the competition isn't even visible, not even close. They're far behind you. Ready? Okay, when I was a home inspector, competing with two other 200 other home inspectors in the same 30 mile radius market area around Philadelphia, we beat our competition with this exercise. So imagine standing in line with your competitors, please step forward if you actually answer the business phone professionally every time it rings. You know how many phone calls we make to home inspectors and they answer it as if uh, we don't, we're not important, the consumer is not important, the person who's looking for a home inspector to hire them for $400 is not important. They answer it with their food in their mouth. They answer, hey, hey, or they don't even answer at all. So step forward if you answer the phone professionally. That's great. Please step forward if you answer your business emails promptly. Hmm? Please step forward if you have a modern customized business website. Please step forward if you have a website with online scheduling. Please step forward if you get on the roof with tall ladders. You're not required to. You are allowed to exceed the standards of practice and maybe that helps you to get distinguished from all the rest. Step forward if you use a drone. That's the way to inspect the roof safely from the ground. Step forward if you wear professionally branded company shirts and hats. Step forward if you provide a video recording of the roof inspection. Step forward if you provide a video recording summarizing the entire inspection for absentee clients. Step forward if you do the inspection for free if you're late. Step forward if you include an infrared scan with every inspection for free. Step forward if you give your client a home maintenance book, InterNACHI's home maintenance book, to help them maintain their home. Step forward if you include InterNACHI's honor guarantee. Step forward if you include InterNACHI's buyback guarantee. Step forward if you wear indoor only shoes. Step forward if you only, if you have electronic keypad access. Step forward if you bundle WDO and rate on testing with your home inspection service. Step forward if you write the report as you inspect and thereby provide clients the entire report and summary at the end of the inspection with no waiting. Step forward if you can bring two inspectors to the inspection to speed things up if needed. Step forward if you offer free walkthrough inspections on the day of closing. Step forward if you do weekend inspections. Step forward if you do holiday inspections. Step forward if you slow things down for first time home buyers. Step forward if you speed things up for investors. Step forward if you bring a small home welcoming gift for each client and a small gift for each client, uh, each agent. Step forward if you survey every client. Step forward if you do commercial inspections. Step forward if you do Google reviews on your website. Step forward if you leave behind a small gift for the homeowner or occupant. On and on and on. You want your business to literally stand out from everyone else as something special unique and amazing, just as if no one else exists. Do that mental exercise in order to figure out what distinguishes you from all the rest and your competition. You just blow away the competition, just like no one else is standing around you.